in the United States, we think of the middle of the country where uh, there's a lot of farmland as the heartland. Here in Thailand, if you're thinking of the heartland, you're thinking about Isan, the region in the center of the country north of Bangkok. And today I'm headed up to Isan for a pig roast and a photo shoot. There's been an awful lot of rain in Thailand this rainy season. And in this particular part of Isan, outside of Surin, in Surin province, is experiencing uh, flooding. I'm kind of stumped as to where to go next. Google is no help here. This guy is just washing his truck. I guess, gotta use it for something. Fishermen seem to be happy. Apparently this is loaded with fish, these floodwaters. But if you look, the road is way over there where it comes up out of the water and I'm certainly not going to drive my little sedan through that. I oh, have to go find another way. Hey. Here you go. <laughs> I opened this video with the statement that I was going to a pig roast and a photo shoot. The pig roast was a party that had been planned for my friend Marcus. It's his birthday. And we did have a pig roast and a dinner and it was a, it was a fun gathering and I did enjoy myself, but it rained the entire time and it was the coldest I had ever experienced here in Thailand. It was down to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. For those of you, uh, you know, in northern climates that are freezing your butt off in much colder weather thinking, ha, well, when you get acclimated to a tropical climate, 64 degrees can be pretty cold, especially when it's rainy and drizzly the entire time. It was an uncomfortably cold night, which also put the kibosh on my photo shoot. This is the photograph that I that had inspired me uh, to to uh, try to not duplicate, but do something like this photograph that I got on Pixabay. I really uh, think this is a beautiful photograph and I had a model all set up to do something like this. You know, we would have seen how it turned out, but my model, given the, the weather, was reluctant to put her naked body covered only by a small silk cloth into a freezing cold pond, understandably. Man plans, God laughs, but we did have a birthday party for Marcus and this gives me the opportunity to present anybody, any of my viewers who might be considering coming to Thailand to change their lifestyle and perhaps retire in Thailand. Marcus has a really interesting story. Well, the transplanted city boy from Dublin and Bangkok now living out here on the farm. I've brought up on the farm, but not banana trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you grow there? We had barley. We grew barley. Um, you, we uh, used it for feed for our cattle, and we had grass because we had, we had cows at some one stage, thirty-three cows, milking cows. We'd sheep and we'd cattle. And what this is we? where? What part of Ireland? The Midlands, Longford, Midlands, huh. middle. So you this is the neighbor's house, which is a traditional style of wooden house here in Thailand. And what Marcus and Poe have done is they've remodeled their version of it. You can see the old style up on top. And uh, they've made a nice modern home here. Where we we re-roofed the, the top, the, or re-walled re the wood on the top as well flat, uh, two years ago. Huh. So that's all new on top. But it was basically this style of it was construction, that, yeah, yeah. But it was a little bit even better condition than that is now. But it was starting to leak, so we had to put new timber on. Yeah. So the whole house is redone there, basically. And this is where Marcus intends to retire, or at least mm. when he retires from one of his several jobs. <laughs> He's... Hopefully bring one or two of them with me. Yeah. It's nice. It's quiet and people well, are friendly. I was here January, February, March, but I was working online in my school until two o'clock each day. And at the weekend, I had five hours teaching my private students. So that... that gave me something to do yeah to prepare the lessons beforehand as well so mm. it was great now this is just their home what we just showed you here is their own personal garden and 
where they live and where they store their rice. And Poe's farm is... Uh, well, it's our farm now. It's not just Poe's, you think. If she dies, I'm marrying her daughter. So we'll keep it in the family. Ah. Yeah. And here's one of Marcus's neighbors. Got a white cow. Cemental. Cemental. That's a cemental cow. It's a what kind of cow? Cemental. Cemental? It's a breed. Ah. I used to think it was a Charlie, but it's not a Charlie. I used to think, you see that one there? I used to say that was a Charlie. But the, when I went home, they said, that's not a Charlie, that's a mental. Sawatika. Sawatika. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. He lies. <laughs> no, this is this cow. Is what? This cow, cow. just born, born. Baby cow. Baby calf. Yes, calf. 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 Cemental. Cemental. <laughs> cemental, cemental. How a baby cow? How old? How old? Just one. That's born. Ah. This Ani. Ani. Next. Next month. Oi. Yeah. A month, month ago. Month, month. Did you have to pull? Okay. You have to pull. Last month today. Yeah. Oh, today. No, no, no. no. That baby today. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Can I go take picture? Can. Yeah? Yeah, We just told that this calf was born this morning. And mom looks a little bit protective, so I'm going to give her plenty of space. But yeah, a new baby calf. Look at that. The, the afterbirth, they always usually eat at the cows. Yeah. Over here, they sell it and the people eat it. They think yeah, it I've heard of that before. Oh, yeah. oh, God. Meat is meat. It's not us. Oh, Beastings. Yeah, it's not something I'd want to have on a sandwich, but yeah, mm. I, I've heard of that before. Welcome, baby calf. So Poe's Rice, Rice Farm, is out there. And sadly, they've been flooded this year. Now, the Thai government takes care of its rice farmers, but as you can see, there's an awful lot of rice out there. That green field is growing rice. It's not matured yet. It would have come to harvest in November, but Poe tells me that the flooding ruined it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's farming. A lot of work. And here, Marcus's neighbor, whose cow just had a calf, has a pretty substantial modern place here. It'll looks like a commercial establishment to me but they just recently built this house and uh, they have themselves a nice little spirit house here in the corner of the property and a bunch of cattle this is farming in in the heartland of Thailand these people work hard they don't have a lot but they have enough they're not poor and they're friendly as all get out. I'm walking around with two cameras snapping pictures and everybody's smiling at me. I like Thailand. It's a nice place. So all this is rice field. Yes. As far as you can see. And it flooded up over this roadway. Wow. And this was what? A week ago? This has only gone down about three or four days now. Right. Three days. And while rice crops need water, this is far too much. And... Over there where you might see a tractor is a rowboat. I can tell you what they've been dealing with here. And off in the distance there is the community gathering place, the local temple. Which looks rather impressive set against the green rice fields. But yeah, the center of life in this part of Thailand is all about Buddhism. The quiet is nice though. I do like the quiet. That, um, that party's still on. I can hear the boom, boom, boom from it. We might go down later. It'd be nice to get a couple of dancing girls. They have very short skirts and showing off their knickers, and they're in front of women and children and everything, you know. Ah, let's go check that out. I've seen enough rice field. <laughs> there's, there's one place up here that they, they have a, 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 a statue of a man and a woman. And they're the kind of the rice gods. Uh -huh. And I came down here about four or five years ago and there's 
whiskey down on the ground sure. as offerings and bananas and Chang beer. I said to Paul, I said, Jesus, this food, you know, they're giving away a lot of whiskey there. Oh, don't worry, when the women go, the men will drink it. And I said, well, will the gods not be angry? And she said, oh, no, 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 no. The gods have, it's the offering that counts. So once they have offered it and left it there for a while, that's mm -hmm. enough. Then they can drink it. Shall we go get a couple of shots? Yeah, if you want. It's down this as far as you can see now, but it won't take long to get it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, this is the place where they leave the offerings then? Yeah. And, right here. and right. what do they do? They they come down and they, they well, bring stuff? They walk from the village down there. Uh -huh. They come dancing with all the offerings like this and there's music. And they come here and they put all the offerings. These two figures, these are not gods. These are representations of the village people. You've got a, the male and the female. And these are the people who plant, and these are the people who, who harvest. You know, these are the representations of them. So the, all the offerings is given to them, and the goodness goes through them. And the, I don't know what happened this year with the floods. It didn't seem to work, did it? There's a, there's a party going on. So I think up. Thank you.